Bashir has vetoed a bill labeled as anti-transgender. The legislation passed in the Republican-led majorities in the Kentucky House and Senate. The bill bans access to gender-affirming health care and restricts restroom usage. It also bans discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity in schools. In announcing the veto, Bashir said the legislation would lead to an increase in suicide among young people. There are enough votes, though, in the General Assembly to override the governor's veto. Now to the weather soaking rain is still moving across our area right now. We're expecting storms tonight. We're also dealing with some traffic problems out there on the local roads. Let's get more now on how uh, all of this is looking from meteorologist Mo Rose. It's a little bit of a mess out there right now, Mo. Just a little, my gosh, from this morning's messy roads. I mean, they're still out there and I wanted to give you a quick heads up because anyone watching in Scott County who's trying to get out of Scott County on 65, you're going to be running into a big roadblock. There was an overturned semi earlier this morning carrying roof shingles and they're all over the roadway on 65. Now this uh, camera, uh, this picture came from Sergeant Carrie Hulls and what you're seeing is an overturned semi with those roof shingles just scattered all over 65 South. All of this took place around mile marker 30. So that's before you get to Scottsburg. The closure for this, they're forcing you off at exit 34. So if you're coming maybe south from Austin, that's where you're going to want to take that detour. So you'll take 31 South as your alternate route. But I'm even looking at the alternates right now, and we're seeing a lot of red on the screen as you're traveling south. So just pack your patience because it is going to be slow going through that detour on 31 this afternoon. I also added the weather product onto the screen so you can see that there's still some rain even along the 65 corridor where the accident took place. But the bulk of it, that is further to the south, pretty much along. 64 and points to the south and you'll see areas of yellow those shades are indicating some more moderate to heavy rain and we're going to be dealing with this pretty much all day long so looking at the clouds and radar that is a warm front that's pretty much stuck on the screen let me zoom out and just show you this is what we're going to be dealing with all day all of that rain is going to be riding along that frontal boundary so we are just going to be dodging showers and even a few thunderstorms throughout the day at the moment though we got 59 degrees still raining no storms breezes are out of the south and southeast around 17 miles per hour a lot of 50s upper 40s in seymour but everywhere else you're pretty much stuck in the 50s and i think we'll get into the 60s through the afternoon but you're going out the door today you are grabbing that rain coat and the umbrella and the boots because it's a soaker I'm calling this a washout today and temperatures don't get too warm pretty much 64 is all we'll get but we're going to be stuck with the rain Tonight, though, we got to talk about this chance for some stronger storms, especially after midnight. We'll discuss that, and then I'll let you know when you can finally put away the umbrella. That's all coming up. Jennifer. Thank you, Mo. It's a big weekend of basketball. We start with the UofL women and their Sweet 16 game tonight. The Cards are coming off a dominating win over Texas and are working to win their first ever national championship. Tonight's challenge is Ole Miss. The Rebels shocked top seeded Stanford in the second round. Coach Jeff Walls believes his team's strength of schedule and postseason success has prepared them for tonight. We had a schedule that was very competitive, but it's helped us. And then you go back. We're, we just, I don't, I mean, as I said after our Texas game, we don't have the answers for everything and hard work's not going to guarantee you success, but it sure at least gives you a fighting chance. And we figure out a way to, to play our best basketball this time, time of the year. And here's a look at the matchup. Fifth seeded Louisville against number eight seed Ole Miss. That game is set to start about 10 o'clock tonight on ESPN. And Sweet 16 men's tournament games start tonight at the KFC Yum Center. Louisville is hosting the four South region teams still in the running for a national title. And here's a look at those Sweet 16 matchups happening tonight at the Yum Center. Top seeded Alabama will take on five seed San Diego State at 630 tonight. That's followed by six seed Creighton and Cinderella 15 seed Princeton around on 9 o'clock. That's going to be a good one. These games are on TBS. The regional final is Sunday afternoon here on WLKY. And we've seen basketball fans exploring our city this week, many carrying around many Louisville Slugger bats and other souvenirs. Minosh is live downtown where some fans are getting together, hanging out ahead of these games, Minosh. Well, Jennifer, it's noon, so that means all the bars and all the eateries here on Whiskey Row are open, so we're getting started right now. 
here at Beard Nose. I'm joined now by one of the owners here, George Timring. All right, you were here in 16, you were here in 19. Give us an indication of what a regional crowd looks like, what you guys are expecting. We're expecting big crowds here in the next couple hours. We're ready now. Whoever your weatherman, they, they need to clear this rain out, get everybody kicking in. But uh, we're excited. We're expecting the next couple hours to be full on. My whole, I'm fully staffed, ready to go, like for a huge day. All right, quickly tell us some of the big deals that you guys got.